Hi everyone. In this video, we discuss how to use the regression node using SAS Enterprise Miner. In theory, regression methods in SAS Enterprise Miner are very similar to regression methods we learn in DAV726. The advantage is that we can run multiple regression models and compare them with data mining models using other methods such as decision trees or neural network. That would allow us to select the best predictive model. If the target variable is interval, we have linear regression models. If the target variable is categorical, we have logistic regression models. In this example, since our target variable is binary, we will run the logistic regressions. On the model tab, select the regression node and drag it to the diagram workspace. Then connect it to the data partition node. Note that logistic regression does not have any required assumptions, such as normality or linearity. So we do not have to worry about transforming variables. On the properties panel, we'll change some settings. In the model selection group, we change selection models to stepwise. For selection criteria, we select validation error. SAS Enterprise Miner allows us to customize the stepwise process. First, we change use selection default to no. Then we click on the three dot button for selections options. The selection options window opens. By default, the entry significance level is 0.05. That means a variable must achieve that significance level in order to be included in the model. To allow more variables to be included, we can change this to 0.1. As you may remember, the stepwise process may remove a variable from the model even though it has been added in the previous step. So to stay in the model, a variable must meet a required significance level. The default value is 0.05. Again, we can change this to 0.1 to keep more variables in the model. Finally, we can change the maximum number of steps, let's say to 20. This is to ensure that the stepwise process will stop at the step 20. Let's run the model. Right click and select run and click yes. Again, the process might take some time. The run is completed. Select results. We see some similar results with the decision tree model, such as cumulative lift chart, fit statistics, and output. Let's examine average square. We can notice that ASE for the regression model is a little bit lower than the decision tree model. We will compare these models in another video. We can also look at the output. The output shows the results of each step of the stepwise process. We'll look at the final results. It is the analysis of maximum likelihood estimates table in row 1081. We interpret the results the same way we did in DAV726. The results show that seven variables are included in the final model. The estimate or beta, which is correlation coefficient, shows the sign of the effect of each predictor, positive or negative effects. The exponential value also shows us the magnitude of the effect. For example, the exponential value for gift count 36 is 1.076. That means if we increase the value of this variable by one unit, the probability that a respondent is a gift giver to charity increases by 7.6%. Another interesting result we should look at. We go to View, Menu, and select Iteration Plot. The Iteration Plot displays the value of a model assessment measure on the vertical axis for different steps in the stepwise process. For example, looking at the training data, it appears that the model with 10 steps has the lowest ASE. On the other hand, validation results so that the model with six steps has the lowest ASE. Such enterprise minor determines the optimal of steps is seven. 
Similarly, if we change the assessment measure to misclassification rate, we see very similar results. We interpret the cumulative lift chart and the RC curve in the same way as we did with the decision tree. The final result is the effect plot, which contains a bar chart of the absolute coefficient of the moral effects. The greater the absolute value, the more important that variable is to the regression model. This is the same as the estimate or beta in the output as we discussed before. The variables are listed by their respective order numbers in the final model instead of variable names. The blue means a positive relationship and the red means a negative relationship. Basically, this plot shows the regression correlation coefficient in the chart form. That is how to use the regression node in SAS Enterprise Miner. Thank you and bye now.